Little London with lonely hearts Oh, the warmth in your eyes swept me Thanks to acts like Laura Marling or Amy and the Great, there's been something of a UK folk revival recently. And it's against this backdrop that London four-piece Mumford & Sons have turned up as one of the bands tipped for great success. Their debut album, Sign No More, received critical acclaim and only narrowly missed the top ten on its release. We definitely weren't surprised. We, we know nothing about putting out albums. We know about playing gigs because that's all we've ever really done. And so it was all very new to us, and the whole thing was, was quite alarming, actually. We wanted to represent how we sound live, and really we were making the record first and foremost for ourselves, but then also really with um, the people who have been to our gigs in mind. Um, it was a challenge to try and get the sound that we knew we wanted, and it was hard work, and it was quite intense, and it was quite a short period of time to get it all in. But I think we're all pretty happy with the outcome. The flesh that lived and loved will be eaten by play. So and if you ask the guys for the reason behind their success, they all agree it's down to one thing. I think there's just been a massive rise in live music. People are going to more gigs now. So the opportunities for bands who play live shows first and foremost and enjoy playing gigs. Um, are doing a little bit better than perhaps they were before. Like things like X Factor and people who do music that isn't so much about the um, songs as the performance. Um, that's quite a different world to what we're trying to do and what a lot of other bands. And it's not just folk. And my hand told my heart. The boys are in high demand. Thanks to restless touring and supporting other acts like Noah and the Whale and the Maccabees, Mumford and Sons have managed to build an impressive fan base in the UK as well as overseas. It was amazing. We did a, a small trip to Germany just a couple of weeks ago. We did a handful of gigs and they all sold out. And there were lots of people there singing along, which is quite alarming because we hadn't been to most of those towns before. The band will look to keep things rolling in 2010. Mumford and Sons are soon off to India. We have no idea what to expect. Then to Australia and America before returning for a full UK tour in March. That sent me off from the God that I once loved was the same that sent me into your 